sights, sounds, and information just for you from your friends at ASM. just going about my daily life. The two-story across the street has been under renovation for the past two years. It's been there since the 1920s and hasn't had a lot of work done to it since. Wasn't even on my radar, really. Until that one afternoon, I suppose. That easy-going, sunny June day was interrupted by a scream for help. I ditched my bag of groceries and ran over. Thinking it might be a contractor or a neighborhood kid, I hope no one was seriously injured. If I had a shred of common sense in that moment, I would have shown some regard for the blinking lights inside the house that were very visible on the outside of the house in broad daylight. The door was open, but that was my only luck I'd have. Still, I found the injured party in need of assistance. A young man at the top of the basement stairs and behind him, the lights pulsated like a strobe. He told me that he was all right, his ankle broken due to a fall, but his father was in danger. I would need to head downstairs immediately in order to help. Before I descended to the lower level, he handed me a watch-like device and told me to keep it safe. <laughs> okay, sure. The basement was unfinished and I mistook the hazy atmosphere for dust. Was I ever wrong about that? The blurry air enveloped me and in the corner of my eye, I swear I could see a humanoid figure. Though it wasn't human at all, it had a freaking horn on its head. It kept its distance, but I know damn well it was aware of me. Suddenly, I felt fresh air and was blinded by sunlight as I realized that I was now outside. With a concrete sidewalk beneath my feet, I was in the midst of a scuffle. A man about my age was clinging to a case as two others shoved at me. The poor guy was being mugged in broad daylight by two dudes in expensive suits. The man pleaded for help. Trying to reason with the suits only got me punched in the face as the other reached into his jacket. The man with the case had been pushed to the ground. Now, whether it was my confusion of walking into a basement and reappearing outside into the middle of a fight, or being popped in the head by a complete stranger, I snapped. Breaking one of their noses with a headbutt and a straight kick and an elbow to the other, I assured the man he was going to be okay. I helped him up and he told me to follow him to a safe area. As I quickly walked alongside my guide, the massive confusion I felt grew even more as I noticed my surroundings. People weren't on devices. No remnants of the COVID masks, and t-shirts for bands that I hadn't seen this new since the early 1990s. We passed an electronics store where the latest in home entertainment looked a lot like the model my parents bought 30 years ago. Once at this man's home, he asked me where I was from. Explaining the bizarre events from earlier, he seemed unfazed as he nodded at my story. I handed him the device that the man from my time had given me. 
Well, sir, today's date is the same. So is the city. However, the year is 1991. You have entered a time portal. Taken aback, I asked. A what? A time portal. You see, this was a fortunate find for myself and others I work with. It really only takes you to 20 minutes away distance-wise, but we've managed to tweak it to 30 years time-wise for our purposes. Tweak? How the hell did you do that? Time travel is a pipe dream in science publications 30 years from now. He paused and then explained, It's part of a natural phenomenon which we've tapped into. A group of us combined our findings, and this group still operates to this day, albeit in your time. Plus, we had a bit of mystical help. What is it you need from me, I asked. It can't just be knocking around those two suits. He opened the case he'd been guarding. Pulling out a vial, he held it up to the light. This is an antidote for a potential outbreak in your time. It will make your current pandemic situation seem tame in comparison. The people on the other side of the time portal will know what to do. The house you entered is mine. I'm having it renovated, although my future self is not there at the moment. He told me that the men trying to stop him were part of an organization that wanted the antidote for their own reasons involving large sums of money. I was told to wait a while until the next portal would open and he would show me the way. At our designated time, we walked along the street. It was a surreal glimpse of the past, and this particular day seemed all too familiar to me. We approached the building that I would enter. As if on cue, the suits from earlier plus two others started in on us. I heard a crowd chanting. It was then I remembered this day. You see, a bunch of us had come down to rally for a proposed bill on legalizing marijuana. It's quite something that I remembered much from those days, but sure enough, here they came. And in the crowd, I saw my younger self. Long hair, ripped jeans, and a t-shirt that had long since fallen apart. The suits got closer to us as did the crowd. Out of desperation, I yelled out, Narcs are rounding us up illegally! The suits stopped in their tracks. The crowd surrounded them. The man and I made our escape. Handing me the case, he assured me it would be all right. The haze came back, and with a flash of light, I was in the midst of the realm. I was not alone, though. One of the suits had gotten into the portal. Without warning, one of the large horn-headed humanoids had punched through his chest and held the man's beating heart. Two more pounced on him and devoured the man's corpse as I quickly moved in this bizarre tunnel. And finally, I was back in the basement and in my own time. The man from earlier was waiting upstairs, now being aided by crutches. I handed him the case. Thank you, sir, for helping us. You've done a service to humanity. I asked him, what in the blue hell was that? What were those horn-headed ape things? They ate a guy. He explained that this portal is a shared zone between realms, inhabited by all sorts of beasts. He reached into the case and removed a device similar to the one he originally handed me. These are pulses. They repel those creatures to ensure safe passage when traveling the time portal. I swore up and down that it was insane and I was ready to leave. He just smiled and asked, would you be interested in working for us? The pay is excellent. You know, that was six months ago. I took the job. Still, I can't help but feel a bit fearful, no matter how many trips I take. Those blinking lights. Those goddamn blinking lights. The lights are on as the evening shadows are creeping in. Hopefully, you won't get caught in the turn of night.